Um, so what about Tucker's new network? It's great. I think it's great. I've, I'm a subscriber. I signed up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so I think he's doing a great job. I do too. The, the, yeah. the mainstream news. Well, do you, can you even call it mainstream anymore? Uh, you know something? I, I just think it's a complete waste of time. Yeah, it's like almost irrelevant, except for irrelevant. just their little followers. It's, and, it's irrelevant. It's yeah, irrelevant. I mean, if, if you wait and listen to that, yeah. you're so behind on everything, yeah. and it's all a lie to begin with. Yeah. It's propaganda. Yeah, no, I think, I think Carlson's doing a great job. I, yeah, I, too. And, you know, it was it was an interesting, the interview with Putin was interesting to watch because the advance work clearly hadn't done its job somehow, um, you know, but but uh, I, I felt watching Carlson, it reminded me, and I know you relate to this, because you and I never intended to be in the media business. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> and like, I'm not, we really. Didn't prepare but, for, yeah, but it's we having, are. We're having fun here. Okay. Right, but, 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 you know, you get the desire for freedom throws you out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. and you get out of your comfort zone. And here's Carlson, you know, and he's way outside his comfort oh, zone, yeah. but he's just plugging away he's he, he's turtling i call it turtling yeah, he's yeah. turtling and so explain explain this so we have i we have this building wealth curriculum it's larry and there's six pillars the first is free and inspired life and that is you know dave thomas is responsible to live the life you know to choose and live the life that's between you and god and you gotta right. take responsibility to do that the second is navigation tools you know there's an official reality and then there's reality and you got to know both and be able to navigate both then risk management you know in when you're in the middle of a war as we are in then risk management is very very important and then the fourth is living equity which is building you know culture and community education all the cultural things then financial equity is obvious and then the sixth is turtle is called turtle fourth and turtle fourth is an article i wrote right after i finished the 11 years of litigation with the department of justice it's about never quitting yeah never 11 years it took it took 11 36 000 hours working wow. for free and six million dollars but you just never quit you never quit and it's amazing what you can get done so I always tell people, you know, don't worry how hopeless it looks. Just put on your hard shell and turtle forth and don't quit. And you yeah. just never know what you can get done. So we're big on turtling. And it's really, you know, as the Japanese call it continuous learning. It's just, it's just continuous learning. And what you see with this year of the pushback, the turtles have gathered. <laughs> I think one thing too also is, is truth is our greatest asset mm -hmm. and our greatest thing that we can invest in. I don't know if you saw Tucker Carlson and Jordan Peterson sitting down and, and talking and they were in Canada yeah. about two weeks I ago. saw it last night when I, after I finished Putin, I thought I'd watch one more and I watched his interview with um, Rand Paul, which was great. Oh, wow. Yeah. I watched that. That was too. great. Yeah. But I didn't, I, I, I chose Rand Paul over Peterson. But Peterson was talking about how it's time for the truth. OK, yeah. we, we have to tell ourselves the truth to begin with, and then we have to hunt the truth. And he was just talking right. about investing in the truth right. is our greatest asset right now in this time. So our two quotes for the year are uh, the first is from a guy named Charles Swindoll, who's a preacher right. down in Texas, who I, I don't know. or I've learned about him since I found this quote. He says, and I'm going to paraphrase. He said, you know, the year before us is full of great opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible situations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's number one. And number two um, is from a wonderful doctor in Switzerland who's working on creating parallel health systems. He says, the currency of the future will be relationships of trust. So we don't have a financial problem. We have a governance problem. We have right. a sovereignty problem. And the most important thing, you know, the reason I'm here is so when Denny said, you know, Dave Thomas is available to talk. I was like, you know, because I trust you. I trust you're really trying to get to the truth and you're really trying to get it. And and it's those relationships of people who trust each other and right. connect that will rebuild. Okay. This this is perfect time for me to throw this at you. Okay. okay. Just out of left field. I'm putting you okay. on the spot. I got my catchers. Book. Okay. All right. So <laughs> a source of information. What would your top three be to go whether it be on the internet or any type of media source or any person that's out there that has a okay. podcast, who is your top three that you would listen so, to? So, so the first, if, if you go to Solari and you put in mm -hmm. the search bar, new media syndicate, 
I have a list of all the sources that we use. Okay. Okay. It doesn't include, we have some, some, I have some standard financial sources that I use for financial information that you would call mainstream, like Financial Times or Wall Street Journal, that are very good on certain types of financial thing and not. Your good. top three personally that you go to. So let's see what okay. happened today in the world. Where do you go okay. for that? So the first thing I go to, you're going to laugh, is prayer. Well, yes, of course. That right. goes without saying. Well, but okay. here's the thing. Prayer prayer works for all sorts of things in terms of what's going on in the world, current events. You know, how do I solve this pain in my knee? You know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I just really believe that that the universe is intelligent. And if we ask for help and, and wisdom and discernment, we get Discernment, it. I think, is yeah, the key. Discernment. Okay, so... The second best source of intelligence I get is thousands of subscribers who are emailing me and posting comments all day long. So like on the, you know, the trucker thing mm -hmm. uh, or, or the borders and the truckers going down to the borders. I had a ton of information coming in from the new media syndicate from, you know, the corporate media everywhere. But then I had people on the ground emailing me and saying, this is what's happening. And this was the same during the pandemic. I had doctors and nurses emailing me from all over the world. And I have allies, like uh, one great ally is Corey Diggs, Corey Lynn of Corey Diggs. And she has thousands of subscribers and, and we're collecting up this intelligence and we're making sense of it. So I would say open source intelligence from our networks is the second right. most important thing. Um, and then uh, we have a group of hosts that either host on the Solaria Reporter that we use regularly. Um, Whitney Webb is one. Elsa Von Hamlin is one. Um, Vanessa Beard Schaefer from from um, from France. Uh, Ul Ulrich Oniger from Germany. You know they're spread all over the world, and they they just send you know, things in and, and from their network. So, right. So it's network connecting with network. It's, 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 well, what happened to me, remember when I started to litigate, I just started to do all these radio shows and I would tell people to, I'd give out my email address and I ended with researchers all over the world who were constantly sending me. And when, once we started the Solaria report, that just grew and they will pick out for me, um, for example, in the Middle East, one of the sources I most use is Terry Misson from Volternet. Um, you know, they will constantly, they'll be watching Terry's website and they'll send me, you know, his latest and say, you have to read this. So, um, but if you go and look at the new media syndicate, I would say, now what I, the other thing that helps me the most is watching prices. So I just watch, you know, I'm watching stock market prices, I'm watching commodity prices, and those always indicate to me, okay, there's something going on here. Right. Right. Okay. So after you get this data in and you, you decipher through it and then you kind of figure out what's going on, do you ever turn on the mainstream, whatever that means, media and look at it Never. and just see the comic show? No. I ne And you know why? I don't have time. Yeah. I just don't have the time anymore. And a lot of people will send me videos of people who I know are disinformation. I, I just don't have time. I, it's too much. Yeah. I don't have enough time to watch the really good stuff I want to watch. Now, the other great source that I use, believe it or not, I'm a great believer, Dave, that at any given time, there are primary trends. You know, there are 25 primary trends that drive everything. And, and what I try and do is I try to deep dive primary trends. And I will spend a lot of time reading one book on a primary trend rather than watch or read the news because 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 I, I keep trying to deep dive primary trends and that's why four times a year we do these big deep dives like we're just going to the printer with Dutch farmers and fishermen a deep dive on the whole European farming you know and food thing so I read a lot of books